Hey, good morning. Uh, Tim from Mix Aircraft Solutions here. Um, I'm going to make a tool for bleeding brakes. And I've seen a couple different versions of these. And you can actually buy one that's all complete from an aircraft tool supply house um, that they charge way too much money for. It's pretty simple. You can make it with local stuff uh, purchased from your local hardware store. Uh, pretty simple actually. I'll show you the end result and then I'll go through all the parts that you need and what you got to do to make it And it's actually pretty simple and cheap too Probably less than twenty dollars um, So let's go through it So you start with the home sprayer I got this one from ace hardware just your typical garden sprayer and Let's open it up and I'll show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so here we go, we got it out of the box. You have your valve system, you have your wand, your hose, and your container. This one here is a half gallon, uh, pretty much all you need. This is the one that I have that I use all the time, works out really well. Uh, let me show you the parts that you need to buy in addition to. Uh, you need a eighth inch pipe national pipe thread NTP uh, coupler so it's an eighth inch pipe thread on either end and then you need barbed nipples that are haha I said nipple um, eighth inch pipe thread on either side uh, there's two different sizes you can get and depending on the size of the wand on the inside this is a 3 16 and then there's an eighth inch. So the smaller the sprayer, sometimes the smaller the inside. And if you look at that there, when we cut this to cut the end off, um, then we can determine which one it is. And I'm pretty sure that I've used the eighth inch and then I used the three sixteenths on the outside for the vinyl tubing. Um, so that's basically all you need to buy right there besides the vinyl tubing. And the vinyl tubing I get is a clear vinyl tubing, so you can see the air bubbles that are coming through. If you have air bubbles when you first start this up, usually uh, it takes a little bit to get them worked out. But you want to make sure that when you go to bleed the system that you're not incorporating the air bubbles into the system. So that's why I get the clear vinyl tubing. So let's make this up. It's pretty simple. Uh, I'll have to set up my phone here so we can uh, I'll do this. There. Um, so what I'll do is you want to make the wand long enough that it sits in the handle. So what I like to do is so it clips in the handle like that. You don't want to cut it too short. I did it on my first one that I ever made um, because you want it to clip in like that so you can hold it and operate the valve. So we can cut it off fairly long or short depending on what you want to do. We'll just make this one a little longer. And I just cut it off just like that. And if you look inside here, it's not perfectly clean there. If you look inside here, it's actually a pretty big hole. So the 3 16 actually works pretty good. Uh, the eighth inch will work, but it'll be loose. And you can make that so it works. Ah, it does hold on to there, but it's it's still a little loose. And it'll, it'll leak on you around the outside. So what I like to do is I take my heat gun. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But so I'm going to warm it up. 
so it's pliable. You usually can tell by the end of it will start to melt a little bit. And then you get that. Push that on there as far as you can before it cools down. You kind of compress it a little bit. And then you have your, your fitting there. Just like that. So we warm this area up here. Just enough to where we could get that fitting pressed onto there, and that'll that'll be nice and tight, and, and it be leak free for the most part there. Then we'll get a little tiny bit of uh, just some pipe thread sealant. Don't need a lot. Just a just a tiny bit and you just put on those threads right there make sure that you don't get it inside there right just like anything else and you screw that baby on there of course you want to use a wrench Quite a three eighths there, seven sixteenths on that side. So we'll use our trusty pliers. And you turn your coupler on there, so it's nice and snug. There you go. You got that. Then, oh, sorry guys. It around that was a bonus, right? Ah, come on, I don't have an assistant here to hold my phone. <laughs> oh. She's out sick, actually. So then you just put just a little dabble, do you? That's probably too much. Like the extra off. I'm using the 3 16 by the way, coupler and uh, or the nipples because uh, it just makes for a better seal. And you can do an eighth inch um, on the on the vinyl tubing if you want, but 3 16 seems to work pretty good when it goes over the bleeder. Uh, nipple on the brake caliper itself and we'll talk about that a little bit too here because I found a different application of how to bleed stuff and you run across it every once in a while with Piper you have to uh, hook it up to the actual B nut, which is uh, number four, so you have to use a different fitting. So now all you have to do from here, right, is hook this baby up to here. Just like that. And you're done. Put your 5606. Ah. So you put 5606 in here and you can stick, you know, two liters in there if you want or two quarts. I usually run about a quart and a half or so, somewhere around there. Um, and then that way it's, you know, got fluid in there and I pick a point on here somewhere and I'll make a nice black mark. Here I just have like a little, little black tick mark and then that way I can see the level go down. Because as you can see, the bottle gets kind of dirty after a while. Because of that 
5606 uh, dehydrates and it gets sticky like honey and uh, so when it's evaporated on the outside it just collects the dirt and stuff so the only thing you have to do beyond this is get a piece of vi clear vinyl tubing 3 16 id and it's pretty cheap it's probably like 19 cents a foot or whatever at ace hardware and then you can choose if you're doing like just regular cleveland wheels and brakes or grove or whatever you can just use the vinyl tubing and press it up onto the bleeder nut and crack the bleeder nut and then push the fluid through uh, from the bottom and that works well so yesterday we had to bleed the brakes on a comanche so i had to put this coupler on there and then this is a a uh a, a flared nipple right there and the comanche on the older brakes don't have a bleeder nut and so you actually have to hook this to the line so you prep your caliper and then you hook this to the actual hard line or i should say soft line that comes from the wing down to the wheel and then you hook that there and then you push the fluid from that and then you hook it back up to the caliper and usually if you do that and there's a little bit of fluid dripping you won't get an air bubble and if there is an air bubble it'll be very small so it won't affect the braking um, the nice thing about this is that it's self-contained so in order to give it a little pressure you do this right you pump it up it and get some uh, head pressure and then it pushes the fluid out and you don't have to have any kind of uh, compressor hook to it or anything like that it's totally portable so if you had an issue with your brakes bleeding down or leaking you could actually take this with you in the airplane and bleed your brakes as necessary and then of course to to fill it if anybody's ever used one of these before if they haven't you just untwist the top throw your 5606 in there close her down seal her up pump it up good to go and then the the thing about it if you're working by yourself the handle when you when you press on the handle once you got this all pressured up and hooked up you press on the handle and you flip this little guy over and it holds it open and so then you can watch your reservoir or do whatever you need if you have to go wiggle the brakes and then you got fluid running through the system and if you have a, a receiving bottle at the the other end whether it's um, hooked to the Cessna reservoir or a Piper reservoir and the Piper reservoir I made this little guy to hook to the top of the Piper reservoir and bleed it right into the can and then you recapture your fluid and then that way you don't have a mess for Cessna's and for the Scott brake so this one I use for the Cessna to screw that in where the vent plug goes and put it into your into your cup in your paint cup or water bottle or whatever you want to capture it in and then uh, it goes through the tube and goes into there now this guy, this is the end of a bolt that I drilled. So that's a an AN6 something bolt. And it has a cotter pin in it. <laughs> eh, looks like it's kind of dried out in there. I need to clean it up. But anyway, I drilled the end of the bolt there all the way to where the cotter pin goes through. And then this will go into a Scott um, master cylinder like Piper has, uh, Piper Super Cub or J3s or 12s or whatever that have those uh, heel brake, uh, Scott heel brakes. And you screw that in there, put this end in the cup, and then that way you can bleed all the air out without making a mess. And you can recover the fluid in your paint cup or a can or a water bottle or whatever and you're good to go so sorry for such a long video but i tried to make it to where it was simple and easy this super cheap so you can get these sometimes at ace hardware for 9.99 when they're on sale 
Unfortunately, I paid $14.99 for this one. And then these, these three items here are probably, I think it was two something, two something. So about $6. So less than, if you get it on sale, you can get it for just over $15. Whereas if you buy it from the aircraft supply store, it's going to be like 80 bucks. I think they charge you. It's basically the same thing, except they give you some other hokey valve. The thing that I like about these is I've had this one probably for six, seven years and the valve doesn't get sticky. It actually, this valve, um, something with the 5606, um, makes it to where things get sticky and don't work. But these are like a chemically resistant plastic and O-rings in here, and it works really, really good. The only thing that fails is this guy right here will break. So, you know, for 15 bucks every seven years, works great. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope it helps you out. Super simple, self-contained. And then you can keep your 5606 in here, and whenever you need to service your brakes again, it's ready to go. The only drawback is that the clear vinyl tubing gets stiff. You can see it's not very pliable. This is this is new stuff, so it's fairly pliable. Um, but the the older or more use that you get out of the, the vinyl tubing, the more stiff and brittle it gets. So you have to change that out once in a while. And that's super cheap. That's like maybe like I say 10 cents to 20 cents a foot but it works really good you can see the bubbles work it all out works good last long time okay guys so give me a thumbs up if you like this we'll see you later and thanks for watching